Good day everyone! So in this video lesson, we will discuss about correlation. There are many instances in your life when you try to determine if some characteristics are related with each other. On a higher level, you also want to measure the degree of the relationship or association. You usually associate height and weight, budget and expenses, mental ability and academic performance, sibling order and attitude, civil status and manager skills, and other aspects of life which may be related with one another. The relationship between variables can be measured statistically by various correlation methods. So first of that is the scatter plot. So the scatter plot is a graph of ordered pair x and y of numbers consisting of the independent variable x and the dependent variable y. The independent variable is the variable that can be controlled or manipulated. The dependent variable is the variable that cannot be controlled or manipulated. The independent variable is plotted on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable on the vertical axis. The purpose of this graph is to determine the nature of the relationship between the variables. The relationship may be positive linear negative linear or curvilinear or no discernible relationship. So in plotting, no, in plotting the scatter diagram, so you are going to plot graphically the values of the correlated variables means placing one variable on the x-axis and the other on the y-axis. So you're going to recall your lesson during your grade 8. So this scatter diagram gives you a picture of this relationship between variables. So like for example, we have a given two variables. That, uh, we're going to relate the two variables, age and pressure. So how are you going to uh, plot now to construct a scatter plot? You can use the Microsoft Excel, okay? So, using the Microsoft Excel, ito yung, maku ito yung makukuha natin. So, makikita nyo yung ganyang dot. Okay, I will show you how to use uh, Microsoft Excel to construct a scatter plot. Okay? Okay. This one is our given. So, ilagay lang natin sa baba. Burahin lang natin. So, there is our age. And this is our pressure. Okay. So, highlight nyo lang to, no? Yung dalawa. Highlight and then uh, hanapin yung insert. Insert and then ito. Yung chart. Yung insert is scatter. So, pag clinic nyo to insert scatter XY. So, click nyo lang yan. Tapos yung una. Okay? And then, lalabas na yung uh, mga dots natin. Yung plotted points natin. Alright? So, Let's proceed for the next one. Okay, let's say a... Mm -hmm. Okay, that is how you construct a scatter plot. Okay, consider the following example. No? Consider the following example. Okay, consider the following example. So, we have a column A and column B. So, if we are going to try to construct the scatter plot uh, using the Microsoft Excel, so ito yung makikita natin. The points are plotted to show the relationship between the values listed under column A, which are plotted on the x-axis, and the values listed under the column B, which are plotted on the y-axis. Observe from this data that for every increase of 5 units on the items in column A, so nag increase siya ng 5 units, there is corresponding increase of 3 units on the items listed on B. So you will also observe that the points fall along a straight line running from the lower part no? or from the lower left to the right, upper right, upper right of the scatter diagram. So this illustrates a perfect positive relationship 
when computed. So, the coefficient of correlation is equal to 1. So, another, okay, given the column A and B again. So, if you try to construct a scatter plot using the Microsoft Excel, ito naman yung makikita natin. So, kapag ito yung uh, result ng scatter plot natin, this illustrate a perfect negative relationship when computed the coefficient of correlation is equal to negative 1. So, kapag pa ganito, okay, so pa, yung nakikita yung uh, direction ng mga dots natin, pag ganyan siya, so that is uh, in negative correlation. Okay? Next. Another, so if we try to construct a scatter plot using the Microsoft Excel, uh, given the two columns, the A and B, the item in A and B, so makukuha natin ito. So you can check using your Microsoft Excel. Kapag ito naman yung nakita nyo or the result no, after constructing a scatter plot, so ano naman ang ibig sabihin niyan? It means that it's a very high positive correlation between the two sets of points. So, tingnan nyo, hindi siya straight line. Kung baga, na-scatter na siya dito pagdating dito. Pero, ang movement ng dots natin ay pa ganun pa rin. No? Papuntang, uh, increasing, going to uh, right. Okay? Another. So, given the two items again. So, if you're going to construct a scatter plot using this Microsoft Excel, so ito yung makukuha natin. Yan, scattered talaga sila. Okay, kalat-kalat. So, parang wala kang makukuha direction kung pa move, eh, increasing ba siya, papuntang right side, or papunta siya doon. Okay? So, therefore, kapag ito yung nakuha natin, scattered talaga yung dots natin. So, that is low negative relationship. So, when the points are... Evenly distributed all over the scattered dia that will indicate that there is no relationship. Okay? Kapag ganito. Okay? Next. Correlation statistical method used to determine if there is a relationship between variables and the strength of the relationship. So, we're going to use ito yung, yung common na gagamit, ginagamit for correlation. So, kapag yung research natin is about correlation, we are studied uh, uh, between the two variables or we're going to study the relationship between the two variables. So, uh, mas may gina itong gamitin natin. The person correlation coefficient. So, what is this? The this is for the degree of linear association relationship between two variables. So, at this of interval scale is measured by a, measured by a correlation coefficient denoted by R. So, it is sometimes called person correlation coefficient or person product moment correlation coefficient. So, in honor of its developer. So, the formula that we're going to use, this one. So, on the next slide, isa-isahin natin. N stands for the number of pair of scores. Summation of x, y, this one is the sum of the products of paired scores. Summation of x is the sum of x scores. Summation of y is the sum of y score. Summation of x squared, that is sum of squared x scores. And the summation of y squared is the sum of squared y scores. So, how are we going to interpret the results? So, if your r is positive or negative 1.0, that is a perfect positive or negative correlation. So, kapag ang nakuha natin is uh, exactly 1. So, that means it is a perfect correlation. Or if that is negative 1, that is a neg perfect negative correlation. If that's from positive or positive negative 0 0.80 to 0 0.99, that is a very strong positive or negative correlation. If that's positive or negative 0 0.60 to 0 0.79, that is a strong positive or negative correlation. And so, same with this. So, you can check the how you interpret no, the result, the result of R. So, if that is 0, 0, that is no correlation. So, if positive or negative 0 0.1 to 0 0.19, that is very weak. 
positive or negative correlation. So that will be our interpretation. Okay, let's have an example. A statistics professor at State University wants to see how strong the relationship is between a student's score on a test and his or her grade point average. The data obtained from the sample follows. So, the test scores is our X and the GPA is our Y. So, given that these test scores, that is 98, 105, 100, 100, 106, 95, 116, and 112. So, the corresponding GPA is 2.1. 2.4, 3.2, 2.7, 2.2, 2.3, 3.8, and 3.4. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin? Of course, kailangan natin ng table na to. This column is your X or the test scores. And kinuha na natin yung sum, summation ng X, that is 832. So, add lang natin to. So, that is 832. And the this column is for GPA. So, that is our Y. And kinuha na rin natin yung sum nila. That is 22.1. So, if we're gonna add this, that is 22.1. Next is this column, the XY or the product of X and Y. So, i-multiply lang natin. 98 times 2.1, this is equal to 205.8. So, ganun din ang gagawin sa susunod. Uh, that is 105 times 2.4, that is 252. 100 times 3.2, that is 320. 320. So, you can check using your calculator. So, our answer. So, the sum of X and Y, so the summation of X and Y is 2,321.1. Next is X squared. So, ibig sabihin, uh, we need to multiply no, the value of X uh, by itself. So, since 98 yan, so we need to multiply by itself. 98 times 98, the answer is 9,604. So, ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin sa sarili din niya. So, that is 105 times 105. The answer is 11,025. 100 times 100, that is 10,000. So, also, the y squared. So, y squared, ito naman, dito naman natin kukunin yung data natin. I-multiply natin by itself 2.1 times 2.1. The answer is 4.41. So, same with the uh, next one. Uh, 2.4 times 2.4, that is 5.76. And then, don't forget to get the sum no, in every column. So, the summation of x squared is... 86,890, yung summation naman ng y squared is 63.83. So, ano ba yung mga kailangan natin sa formula natin? Okay, so ang kailangan natin sa formula natin is yung summation ng x, that is 832. Summation ng y, that is 22.1. Summation ng xy, that is 23, ano, 2,321.1. Summation of your x squared, ito yon that is 86,890, summation of y squared, that is 63.83, and our n. So, ilang uh, pares ba to? That is 8. So, so that your our n is 8. So, using the formula, so substitute lang natin yung manakuha natin data values. So, substitute lang natin. So, n is 8 times, papalitan natin yung summation ng x, uh, summation of x, y is ng 2,321.1. Okay, so, pinalitan na natin. Don't forget to, okay, enclose it by parenthesis. Minus, summation of x is 832 times summation of y that is 22.1. All over the square root of, okay? So, under to ng square root, dapat silang lahat. So, n, that is 8. So, magkasama muna to Dalawang grupo sila. So, 8 times 8, uh, 86,890. Kasi yan yung value ng summation of x squared. Ito. Minus summation of x. Ang summation of x natin is 832. Tapos, is squared nyo pa yan. And then, sa kabila naman, 8 times the summation of y squared. That is, 63.83 minus the summation of y, which is 22.1, and then naka-squared pa. Okay? 
using your calculator, your scientific calculator. So if we're going to perform this, 8 times uh 2,321.1 minus 832 times 22.1, the answer is 181.6. And then, sa denominator natin, unahin muna natin tong nandito. So, using your calculator, if we're going to multiply 8 times 86,890 minus, uh, yes, subtracted, so minus 832 squared, that is 2,896. And then, dito naman sa kabila, that is 8 times 63.83 minus 22.1 uh, squared. And that is 22.23. So, make sure na nasusundan nyo to sa calculator. And then, try to check, no? Kapag uh, uh, nerecheck nyo yung sagot natin. And after that, so, multiply natin ulit tong dalawa. So, after natin makuha yung sa bawat uh, naka-bracket, so, multiply natin yung result. And that is uh, 64,378.08. And then, we are going to divide now 181.6 divided by square root of 64,378.08. The answer is 0 0.72. Okay, you can check. So, ano ibig sabihin ng 0 0.72 na yan? That is... The correlation coefficient na nakuha natin, it suggests a strong positive relationship between the test score and the grade point average. So, between the test score and the GPA. So, there is a strong positive relationship. Okay, so ibig sabihin kung mataas yung general, uh, yung GPA niya, mataas din yung test score niya. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.